Greetings. I'm Marina Orms, the founder of Astrology Heals at astrologyheals.com and happy April Fool's Day. This is the Astro Vibe for Saturday, April 1st. And today the moon is in Leo. We are also in the energy of the fool <laughs> just to uh, think about that archetype, right? It's if you think um there is a tarot card, the fool, right? And it it is a um, an archetype or the embodiment of an energy, a quality that has to do with um, walking into things, right? Stumbling into things, not thinking, but taking action, moving from a place of innocence, naivete. Like think about the importance of that um, and how. Um, being innocent and walking into things is a way of discovering something that you didn't know about before or you discovering something about yourself. Um, and in fact, this uh, we're in the Aries moon cycle. We're in uh, the first of two Aries moon cycles, as a matter of fact. And so if this moon cycle began with the new moon in Aries and um, that is a fire sign. Leo is also a fire sign. So now today that the moon is in Leo, it is a waning, uh, no, I'm sorry, it is a waxing gibbous moon, uh, meaning it is the moon is getting bigger, right? So it's growing toward full. And um, so gibbous just means it's more than half full and growing, uh, waxing means it's growing. So Waxing gibbous, Leo moon, following the uh, Aries new moon is bringing out. So think think of the moon growing and getting bigger each night, like um, a, a woman growing w in pregnancy. It's like it's you're something is growing inside of you. It is developing. You're feeding it. You're giving it energy. You're building. You're, and so what what it is that the seed that was planted on the Aries new moon or whatever the new moon happens to be um, is what you are giving energy to, what you are feeding, what you are developing, growing, nurturing um, and fostering. So in this case, Aries is the energy of the fool. Um, we have this energy of springtime, of innocence, of emergence, of being new, of starting new things, and uh, self-discovery. So really, that is what this whole process is about, is learning more about yourself, what it means to be in the world, to be alive, to be you. Um, and as we... Um, learn about that and then the moon goes into leo we have this energy of self-expression that that contributes to the development of uh this self-discovery process so we're at the stage in the process where it's important to be expressive to shine our light to be seen and heard and noticed and recognized and felt and appreciated that is the energy of Leo. Leo is about being shiny. It's about expressing yourself and uh, be, you know, living in a way that is not hidden, in a way where you are being seen. And so, three th three ways to express yourself on the Leo Moon uh, are all going to relate back to this process of self-discovery of understanding more about who you are and what it means to move and act and be alive in the world. Um, so the three um, the three ways to express yourself <laughs> that I'm going to share with you are um, create, share, and move. So these are all going to be essential to, again, to learning more about yourself. If you put it out there, if you express it, if you take action on uh, your uh, ability to put your, your gifts out into the world to be seen and recognized. And 
Um, so if you do that, you are furthering your own understanding of who you are and getting, you know, it's like when you share with the world, then you can get that feedback. And um, and sometimes it's a little vulnerable to put yourself out there, but also sometimes you get the experience of appreciation and affirmation, validation. And so um, you won't get that if you don't put it out there. Okay, so three ways to express yourself on the Leo moon. Create, share, and move. Number one is create. So engage in a creative process. That could be um, uh, singing, writing a song, doing art, drawing, painting, arranging flowers, whatever, you know, cooking, something that is creative, something that allows you to put yourself into it and uh, create something, you know, move uh, something that puts it down in a way that you can see something at the end, right? Um, so whether that's a meal or a flower arrangement or a song that you're <laughs> um, singing out loud, it's something that you get to um, experience. So you get to create. And so that, that creative process and doing that creative process my cat wants out. Hang on just a second here. Let's see if I can pause. All right, the cat has been liberated. <laughs> now, liberate yourself. Okay, so um create so create do art, do something creative. Um number 2 is share. So how are you sharing? Tell your story, you know, sing something, do something in a way that uh, is sharing, letting someone see something you've made or sharing a poem or something you wrote. Share your story, tell your story, listen to somebody else's story, you know, get, have that experience of exchanging and interacting and being seen and moving out there in the world. So create and share. And then the third one is move. So fire signs are important for moving. Move your body, do something, get some exercise, play sports, go for a walk, go swimming, eat, do yoga, you know, anything that just lets you experience what it is like to move your body. And in particular with the Leo moon, you want to think about expression. So dancing is awesome. Um, uh, ways that uh, allow you to feel energy moving through your body. Singing is also great. Um, uh, doing, you know, any, any art form, any way of moving or uh, activity that you enjoy that allows you to really experience and explore what your body can do. So that's move. Uh, create, share, and move on this Leo moon. Thank you so much for being here. And tomorrow I'm going to be back with um, some information about the upcoming Libra full moon next week, uh, midweek next week, we've got a full moon in Libra. So we're, we're building up to that. We are in, uh, again, this waxing energy, waxing gibbous moon where we're building toward that culmination, that um, that illumination that the full moon brings. So a little bit more uh, revealing each, uh, each night as the moon grows larger. And so tomorrow I'll be talking more about what to expect as we head into that full moon. And meanwhile, enjoy the energy of self-expression and Leo and self-discovery in the process of creating, sharing, and moving to explore and experience more of who you are and what it means to be alive. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss these daily reminders of what is going on with the moon and much more, uh, how the astrological energies support you in unshakable self-care, to take care of yourself, to be the best you can be, and to uh, continue this fascinating journey of what it means to be human. I will be back tomorrow and I will see you then. Thank you so much uh, for being here. I'm at astrologyheals.com and I will see you next time. Bye for now.